What? Something go up your butt? <laughs> Back to our stupid ranch, you I'm Corbin. What's your name? Beat it with What's your name? Said that. What's your name? I'm gonna say I'm there recording. What's your name? I'm right. Buttface. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter! Juicy. juicy content. It's, it's such so a juicy, juicy. buttface. Thank you for supporting the Patreon. You guys are fantastic. Um, and also follow us on the official Twitter account. Uh, and today we are doing another Jordanian video. Sweet! No, it's not a song, it's just a sketch. This one's near and dear to, I think we'll be able to relate, it's types of teachers. Rick, if hey. you don't know what our relationship is... We were once married. <laughs> <laughs> he was my teacher in high school. Yep. I knew him way before that. I knew him when it's I was true. Like, like six or eight or something like that. Yep. Uh, but he was my teacher in high school. Yep. Uh, and she who shall not be named was also a student of mine. That's true. They were both in the same class with me way back when. Little did we know. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> well, I knew. Uh, <laughs> you knew about her. Uh, but you were eyeing her from across the classroom. But say it, say it today. I thought you'd tell me not to talk uh, about it. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping we get everything too, because obviously the the culture of difference. Would, of course, but well, I mean, they, most of the time we've gotten most of their jokes. We have, and so that that's great. Uh, but, if these teachers slap any students, then that is Corbin and me. He slapped me all the time. But it's only sensual slapping. Ew. <laughs> Here we go. Bells will be ringing. Oh. was undoubtedly a... Uh, I beg your pardon? Uh, come on, teach. As I was saying, the Mesopotamian civilization would... It's always funny when a teacher is funny, so it's often class. I know. Since your apologies. The Mesopotamian civilization was... Hello, Joseph, my class is on you. Tiri-tiri-ya, tiri-tiri-ya! It's usually your family, though, isn't it? Yeah, but still. <laughs> Quiet. Yes! <laughs> yes! I said quiet. Hit him with the eraser. Without looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo! Super teach. Man. <laughs> Remember the old days when it was an actual eraser with chalk? <clears throat> so, what did you do for your summer holidays? Let's start with you. You went to an East special area. <laughs> and I'm from East to West, all over the place. You know, back in the day, I used to actually travel a lot. You tell me. Sir, say something. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just do that, you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are these marks, huh? Is this the behavior? Is this the behavior that we expect from you? You go call your father. Go, go call your father and come. I will not talk to you. Go. This is what your son is bringing, huh? Are you happy with this? Are you happy in your life that your son is bringing these marks? I will not talk. You go call your father. <laughs> 
I'm That's fine. great. Your son and his son is all, all gone. gone. You go call your father. I, I can't That's talk fantastic. to you. That's fantastic. Go call your father. Please, please go call him. <laughs> Are you happy with how your family key has grown? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, I would ask you to call your father, but you would say are not looking too well. Maybe you go get checkup. Go. You're looking very malnourished. That was great. Exactly why in Australia the temperature is actually different from the rest of the world. So you have to take into consideration the extremes of the climate. Uh, sir, didn't you say you went to Australia last year? Me? I am yep. glad you asked this. This is my favorite yep. part. It was in '90s. Yes, you get them off the topic. September or October. You are a master at that. I can do that very easily. Because of the kangaroos, the crocodiles, and such animals. The things about Mr. Siegel, did you have a good weekend? <laughs> yeah, I saw 300. Oh, time's up. <laughs> Yo, you watch Big Boss? Yes, I saw that time only. Yes, sir. I told you stop talking. Oh. <laughs> but, man, Didn't you hear me the first time? What's wrong with you? Is this how you respect your elders? Didn't they teach you anything at home? I've had enough of you and your time. You've irritated me this entire time. I'm tired of you. I'm going to report you and then you're going to get expelled and then you're never going to get a job. <laughs> it starts making it. That's great. Very creative. Very creative. Good. You can relate to that. Having a, having a moment there? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Very funny. It's Most like, of those we can relate to. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, basically, it's different. The only difference would be um, in America in, in now, you cannot touch students no basically no if that happens you are fired yeah and you won't ever even work again. even to the extent of forget like i'm realizing that as we're speaking mm -hmm. because me majeka mm -hmm. uh, fleetwood these are the teachers that were together at harvest we were non-stop hugging kids mm -hmm. kids constantly hugged us from the littlest ones to the high school students. Of, well, I think hugs are different. Uh, I don't and, know, but not also, today. But also, you're in a private school as well. So that's, that's true. That's also very that's different. That's true, very different. Um, in public schools, definitely. Definitely not okay to touch them in any way, shape, or form today. <laughs> I got one of the teachers that I hated, and she rightfully so, like, hated me. <laughs> but I hated her. But she once got so upset with me, and she was telling me to, like, go to the principals or something like that, something random. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I was, I just told her no, because I, I was a terrible student, if you guys didn't know. Um, and she grabbed my arm and tried to pull me up. Really? And I said, okay, I'll go to the principal now. She wasn't back next year. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that story. Yeah. She, wow. She, she like grabbed me and tried to pull me up. I said, oh, oh boy. No, you didn't. Oh boy. I might be like a dick student, but you're fine. You're, yeah. <laughs> but you're fine. <laughs> you're the adult here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I, she was awful. Wow. And it, she even hated my wife. What? Yeah. Like, how do you hate the perfect student? Yeah, there's, there's no something more, was wrong with the there's teacher. There's no more perfect Because she who there. shall not be named was the, the one who's always on time, always sat at the front of the class, oh. always did her work. Has like a 4.2 GPA. Has a 4 point something GPA. And invariably, class started, let's say Corbin wasn't there, not even you, just somebody, any of the students, all I had to do was say, where's so-and-so? They didn't come to first period. They were, their mom is sick. She like knew everything that was going on with all the students. Yeah. So, yeah. so how do you not, and, and was the most sweetest dispositioned person in school yeah. that everybody liked. So. Oh yeah. She was the perfect, we couldn't be more opposite in terms of students. That's true. Cause everybody just liked Corbin. <laughs> no, everybody liked Corbin. Just not it's as true. a student. Not as a student. <laughs> well, I did. Yeah. But I taught theater. And there were some teachers going back to this, like that could, Majeka was a master at it. Like you would get her off topic, but oh. she would a hundred percent of the time bring it back to exactly what she wanted to talk about. One hundred percent. She was a master at it. Yeah, and it was it was actually quite impressive. I could just talk about anything. Have you heard about like that new butt ointment out? <laughs> you I actually can't, definitely can't touch them. 
Uh, I, and you could also tell this was an older video of theirs because they are now right. The quality of the level, like, but, yeah, their budget is so, so huge so now much because they've now. grown so much. Yeah, um, you could tell like this was at the beginning uh, when they had to do everything practically and. But it's still so creative. I love the teacher throwing the stuff at them, and he just starts making the sandwich. sandwich. He threw all the ingredients yeah. out for the sandwich. It's very funny. These guys are very talented. I love uh, whoever the whoever beeping bits beeping bits yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we don't know their names. Yeah, yet. I don't know your name. Sorry, uh, but I believe he's the Indian. The other guy's the Jordan uh, guy. Got it. Um, but yeah, so funny. Uh, let us know what other of their videos we should watch. I know they have a bunch. Yep. Uh, and we'll probably get to most of them because um, we've really like, liked them a lot. I like to spread them out. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, but they're very funny. I I often think of like if we try to do sketches like this of different type of things, it's just. I have no. Sleep. I was, gonna, I was just going right. to say you want you still want to get sleep, don't you? Because you already have enough to do. In addition to the evenings you spend pole dancing, pole dancing is good for your core, Rick. That's true, and, and you've got to have an outlet. That's just the take you away moments of your life. Hobbies, got to have a hobby. This and is one, this is one of those teacher tangents. <laughs> <laughs>